Hey guys! In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a kick drum using nothing but Zeta 2. Also, if you're using Zeta iOS, our latest app, you can follow along using that as well. Zeta 2 is pretty powerful, so let's start off with this kick drum sound. That's what it sounds like. So, that kind of gives you an idea of what we're heading with this. Let's start by initializing the patch, and that clears everything in Zeta. First, we're going to start in the oscillator section. Go over to where it says Wave, click on the little arrow, and then select the generated sine wave. This type of wave is going to give us a lot of flexibility when shaping our kick drum sound. Nothing special, but we're going to use this to create the kick drum sound. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that all these notes are all the same note. So right click on the mode and make sure it's set to fixed sync. See, now this is all one note. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to shape the kick drum sound. We need to use the envelope generator section to do that. This is going to work in conjunction with the oscillator section, and we're going to use the mod matrix to set that up. So, to do that, first we need to select the source, which is the envelope generator 1. We're going to turn up the range the whole, all the way. We'll add a fast curve, and then our destination is the oscillator's level. That level is uh, this knob right here. So we're using this envelope generator, which is right here, and we're controlling the oscillator level. Nothing's happening right now because we don't have it turned on. So let's turn this guy on, bring it all the way down here, and then you can start to see that we're getting some sound. Now we need to shape the sound. We need to shape the way the envelope generator controls the level. So the first thing we'll do is start all the way over on the right, and we'll turn the release all the way down. And we'll turn the sustain all the way down because we don't really need that. Once we hit the K, we'll turn the first parameter up for time and the level down to where we need it. It's starting to take shape. But we need to turn the time down because kick drums have less decay than this. That's a little bit more like it. Next, we're going to adjust the decay in this ADSR just so that it ramps a little differently. There we go. You're probably wondering why this doesn't have much of a kick drum sound yet. That's because we need to adjust the octaves. So we're going to reduce this by three octaves in the oscillator section. And there we go. Just to bring a little variation to this, I'm just going to adjust the left side of the filter section, bring the cutoff down a little bit, and the resonance up. That should be good. Alrighty. So after this, we're going to move to the effects section, and that's where the sound starts to take even more shape. First, in here, I'm going to turn on the distortion. We're going to turn up the tone just a little bit, not too much. It's going to give it a nice soft sound. After that, we're going to move to the modulation. And we're on the sixth voice chorus right here. You can see how that starts to affect the sound. But I'm just going to adjust the parameters in here to my liking. So I'll turn the depth down. We'll turn the speed up pretty significantly. The delay just down a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to turn the feedback all the way down. Also, I'm just going to turn up this high parameter here. There we go. What this chorus is really doing is giving us more of a stereo image for this kick drum. After that, the compressor. I really want to crush this, so I'm going to turn the ratio all the way up and the gain all the way up. But as you can see, we're not getting much sound. We need to adjust the threshold. There we go. Starting to get the whack sound of a beater on a kick drum. Next, the EQ. We're going to stay away from the simulator mode. I don't really like the sound of it, but what we're going to do is we're going to stick with this wide one EQ band. So we'll adjust 80 all the way up, or a lot of the way. It's kind of ridiculous, but it works. Then 1K. This band's pretty nasally. 2.5K. Again, high mid range, kind of nasally. And then our sibilant range. 
This gives it some clickiness. There's a bit of a sound in there, so we're just going to move back to the decay, the time parameter, and just adjust that back a little bit. Just like that. There we go. Now if you want, you can go to Program and select Save As, and then save it as your own SATA 2 custom kick drum.